Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a system of partial derivatives. Okay, so we I, I'd like to call this a differential equation. It's kind of like a differential equation, but the difference is, I guess, we have the partial derivatives of uh, the same function with respect to two different variables. So f is a function of x and y, so it's not like f of x equals y, but it's more like z equals f of x, y. This is a function of two variables, and we can differentiate it, obviously, with respect to different variables. Let me talk briefly about what that means. So suppose you have a function like, let's say, f equals x cubed plus y squared minus xy, then you can go ahead and differentiate, like partially differentiate this with respect to x. And when you differentiate with respect to x, it just means that the y is constant. Make sense? So you're going to treat y as a constant. And when y is a constant, y squared is also going to be a constant. So the derivative of y squared is going to be 0. The derivative of x cubed with respect to x is going to be 3x squared. And here, you don't need to use the product rule but you can basically do the following. Since y is a constant, this is kind of like y times x, or like think about it as 3 times x, the derivative would be just 3, the constant. So in this case, that's going to be minus y. Make sense? And if we wanted to differentiate the same function with respect to y, then we would just treat x as a constant. So in this case, x is a constant, and in this case, y is a constant. Okay, let me just take note of that. And then now x cubed is going to be a constant, so its derivative is going to be 0. And then the derivative of y squared with respect to y is 2y. And then this time we're going to switch the roles. It's already switched to xy. The derivative of xy is going to be minus x. Make sense? Because it's just the coefficient of y, y is to the first power. So this is a little different. I know we're used to differentiating y squared like... Okay, we do the 2y and then multiply by the derivative of the inside, which comes from the chain rule, but that's only when y is a function of x, right? Like a u. But this time we have a function of two variables. They could be several variables because a calculus of, uh, you know, multiple variables, that's kind of like a fun stuff. But anyways, this should be fairly simple. So let's get to the problem after a little bit of, um, hopefully, a nice quick introduction. I also made a video on partial differentials or derivatives on my short channel. You can also check that out. I'll share the links down below and you can also check that out here. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and rewrite the problem and then get to the solution. So we have the derivative. And by the way, a lot of people really say this differently. Some people say del, but del is also used for something else. You can say partial f over partial x or whatever you want to say, okay? But it's just the partial derivative, which means in this case, the y is constant, and in the second case, x is a constant, okay? So this is my system of equations. These are partial derivatives. I do need to find f from here. So how do you find it? That's going to be a fun one. Let's get started with the solution. So, so f is a function of two variables, f is f of x, y. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to start with one of these. doesn't really matter which one. I kind of like the second one because it looks a little simpler. So I'm going to start with this and take that and integrate. How do you integrate that? I'm going to integrate with respect to y. Because this is the derivative with respect to y, so I can hopefully reverse the process. So you're thinking for, um, and I'm going to write it as obviously f, and you can also write it as f of x, y. Same thing. Now, uh, here's what I'm thinking. This is the derivative with respect to y. So can I integrate with respect to y? And the answer is yes, I can. This is a constant with respect to y. So what is the integral of a constant? Like, think about it. What is the integral of c dx? It is cx plus k, right? k is another constant. So you just attach the variable to it, basically, right? So 3x squared is a constant. I just have to attach y because this was the derivative with respect to y. But 2y is a little different, and actually it's easier because you're just going to integrate it normal with respect to y, and that's just going to be y squared. But we don't stop here. Normally, when we do indefinite integrals, 
uh, when we integrate something with respect to something else, we have to add a constant because when we differentiate the constant, it becomes zero. So are you going to be adding a constant like a C here? No, not just a constant because with respect to Y, a function of X is also considered a constant. That's what's fun about these equations because you use functions instead of constants because functions are constant in this sense. So we're basically talking about attaching a function of x, let's call that g of x. Notice that this is a function of a single variable. When you differentiate it with respect to y, its derivative is going to be 0 because it only contains x. Make sense? I hope it does. This is f. Let's go ahead and see how we can find the actual f because we don't know what g of x is, right? But we're going to find out. So now pay attention to the first one. It's the derivative of f with respect to x. So since we have f, we can go ahead and differentiate this with respect to x and set it equal to what we have. And that's going to be fun. Now, notice that we are differentiating with respect to x. So 3y is going to be a constant. It's going to stay. The derivative of x squared is going to be 2x. But constant must be multiplied. So it's going to be 3y multiplied by 2x. Make sense? I hope it does. Plus y squared is a constant with respect to x. If you integrate a constant with respect, I'm sorry, if you differentiate a constant, I kind of got mixed up. If you differentiate a constant, it's going to be 0. So the derivative of y squared with respect to x is 0. So we're going to put a 0 here. You don't have to write it. And the derivative of g of x, this is the important part because we are differentiating with respect to x. The derivative of g of x is going to be g prime. We don't know what g is, so we have to write it as the derivative of g. Make sense? Now this is, let's simplify this, partial derivative of f with respect to x is 6xy plus g prime of x. But we also know that it's equal to this, right? Take a look at that. Beautiful, right? Let's go ahead and set it equal to that, 6xy plus 12x squared. And this should work, right? We had that given in the original equation system. And now we have a really nice inequality equality, not an inequality, because the 6xy cancels out, leaving us with g prime is equal to 12x squared. So what you need to do now is remember g was a function of a single variable, only contained x, so we can go ahead and differentiate, I mean, oh, I'm getting confused here, integrate it with respect to x, and you should be getting what? Think about it, if you had x cubed, it would be 3, so you do need 4x cubed. You can also use the power rule, 12, if you integrate 12x squared dx, that gives you 12 times x cubed divided by 3 because that's the rule, and then that becomes 4x cubed. Okay, g of x was found, right? So is f going to be the, uh, what is f, right? Let's go ahead and write f of xy right now. Since we have g, uh, and we assume that, okay, it's going to be written like this, right? 3x squared y plus y squared plus 4x cubed. Oh, one thing we forgot, I forgot to write it. We also need to add a constant when we integrate this because always we always get a constant. So at the end, after getting g of x, obviously it's part of the g of x is going to have a constant. So this will be the answer for f of xy. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.